across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is an MMA practitioner. He stands 167 centimeters tall. His official weight, 63 kilos. His pro record stands at 16 victories, opposite four defeats. Fighting out of Narin Kyrgyzstan, here is Kanan Tyson Keldimeko. And our referee in charge of the action, Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're going to keep it clean. Touch gloves. Let's do it. So we are set for this bantamweight contest. Even at the tail of the tape. Slight reach advantage for Walter Paella. But pretty much match like for like. They will test those skill sets now in this ACA cage. Paella in the gray and blue Valley Tudor shorts. Blue corner taking on Kanat Keldebekov. And the black and gold shorts. Red corner me, Brian Lacey, alongside Brad Pickett calling the action. Starting it, the fight with a nice inside leg kick. Yeah, and again. Yeah, he also landed a, a nice little left hook as well. Oof. And neither of these fighters have ever been knocked out. And Praia take away that loss against Magomed Magomedov. The only other time, or well, the previous time he had been finished, was way back in 2006. Again, the inside leg kick. You see the crowd getting behind this one. And that is the power of Kanat Keldebekov. He has fans in whichever country he fights in. Praia looking extremely good early on. Yeah, he seems like there's like an intent on his face as well. He's very, very focused with the job in hand. Sometimes you see that Kelde Ke Keldebekov kind of grows into fights. We saw, we saw that in his, his last fight, it was a very close fight. He seemed to do a lot better when he was pressing forward. Every time, you know, he made it closer when he was going back and defending. Go on, Walter looking for that yeah. takedown. Heavy good. neck crank, potentially a guillotine attempt here. But can that kill the back of nice knee as well? Yeah, Walter did a good job here fighting that the choking hand. Oh, but as he's fighting it, those knees are coming up. Good takedown defense from Keldebekov. Yeah, that's definitely going to make Walter think twice about taking a shot. Oh, that's that left hook again. He landed it early on in the round. Said in the crowd, we said that a couple of times, and everyone starts laughing. Must be one of Kelda Beckhoff's fans. Yeah, he does bring them, especially here in Kazakhstan. Wolf, Walter Pryor com coming over the top with two hooks. Good head movement by Kelda Beckhoff. Walter's doing a really good job of just like controlling this distance, but it's just being out of range. And then he, he's done it a couple of times, he jumps him. Yeah, done that good, good little Superman punch as a GSP kind of technique. And you need to be so careful with range with Kanat as well. He'll happily turn this into a brawl. Such faith in that chin. He's one of those fighters that just looks tough as well. Yeah, he does. You know, I mean, like. Even even if we didn't see him in the cage, I saw him out on the street. If he didn't have cauliflower ears, I'd be like, this guy's a fire. Or <laughs> you can turn this guy into a fire. They'd be fair looking at his ears. They actually don't look like a cauliflower. Especially for someone who's had over 20 fights. Oof. Just oh, oh, that's a nice left hook there from Kanat. Yeah, that's got him going. And now he's pushing up against the cage, Walter Pereira. Yeah, that was the most successful bit of work there by Kenneth Keldebekov. Got him and the crowd going. And he's definitely got the 
attention to Walter now. He's now on the back foot. And you talked about it in the build-up to this. Can I kill the Becker was very much a front foot fighter. If you, you give him that momentum, you show him a sign that he's uh, edging in front, he'll take it. Put that pressure on, keep pushing you back. <gasps> oh, sound of that leg kick from Perea. Oh, good jump knee there. He's a very intelligent fire. You know, showing multiple weapons, but <laughs> there's Kelly killing the back of weapon where he just opens his arms many times and tries to turn it into a bit of a dog fight. Managed to get a take down like a bit. Got to respect that. that grip on the neck. I can't really see Oh, that it. looks deep. And he's got that leg tied up as well. Nah, he's it's okay. got to be hard to finish it from that side, though. Unless he has a high elbow, which he doesn't. Uh, th he's not going to finish this. It's tight. Back to his feet. There's a bit of a well above the eye of water, the right eye. I think that might have been that leading, jumping left hook. There you go, just there. But there's some. Oh, yeah. This is uh, the takedown. The, that's the end of the round there. He tries to lock that up, but. It can be very difficult to finish someone from that angle. Yeah, I mean, unless you have a high elbow guillotine. If you have an arm in guillotine, very hard. Not saying impossible, but very hard to finish from side control. Half guard, sorry. So now we move into round number two, and as soon as Kanak Keldebekov gets up off his stool, the crowd cheering. Yeah, he's off his uh, stool, ready to get his round number two underway. Good contest here at ACA 105. These bantamweights matching each other strike for strike, like for like. Touch gloves, Perea. Blue corner, cannot kill the back of in the red. That inside leg kick is working well for Perea, but. This kind of reminds me a little bit like Kenneth, Kenneth's uh, kill the back of his last fight. Each fight doing the better work when they got pressing forward. Oh, maybe now this top position given to him. Yeah, that was a bit of a uh, fortunate uh, way that Kenneth Kellerbell Kel fell to the floor. And now he's working hard oh. to get back. Trying to get a little bite of that neck. Oh, nice knee okay. as well, but look at the strength of Kenneth Kellerbell. Oh, there's an issue with the cup there. Then, yeah, a bit of a... I wondered what was going on there. You could see Walter Perea looking at Herb Dean, and then you could see the cup was, I think it shifted. Yeah, it's not, I mean, there was no kind of groin strike in any way. So I don't know if you're allowed to do that. Can you stop the action if you're having a bit of a wardrobe malfunction? Because what would happen then if Kelder came forward and started yeah. hit front punches? I guess it's more of a sportsman like sort of thing. Kelder Bekov now stepping in again. They both like a uh, nice jump and lead and left up. They also both don't want to give up any ground. It's strike for strike in this second round. Yeah, you see in, in round one and round two, both had their time pressing forward. Both had success as well in different areas. Left hook from Kanak Keldebekov is the cleanest strike we've had so far in the fight. Just feels like we need to see one of these fighters get a clean combination off. Yeah, nothing from either of them really like standing out. That welt over the right eye of Walter Pereira Ooh. is building up now. Good little left hook landed there by. And they're so well rounded, it's, it's difficult to pick a hole in either of their games that they can exploit. And that inside leg kick's been working for Perea, but there's no signs of it slowing down the, uh, the, the pace or the power of Kanat. 
Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Can I look so much better when he's going forward? Did a good job there to mix things up. Nearly had his hands locked. He's got his hands locked now. You maybe see Pro going for right. Yeah, he managed to slide up the above, above the waist. Two minutes left in round number two. Still anyone's round. Oh, oh, almost a trip takedown there from uh, Perea. Yeah, really good balance shown there by Kelderbekov. High kick shot. I'd like to see Perea set up some of these shots. He's not used the jab at all, really. And as also I say that, he pours it out. But also, he's not using combinations. He's like throwing one shot. There's one high kick, one jumping hook, one right hand, one jab. There's, there's no combination. Well, you see, Kenneth's throwing a couple of. Uh, he'll, he'll miss a couple, but he throws a couple. It's amazing, and we talked about it in his last fight. The way he came back, pressure is such a big part of his game. Oh, and again, Perea looking for this guillotine. It's going to be difficult to finish. Look at the grimace on the face. Oh, but equally, look at that grimace on Kanak Keldebekov. Yeah, I know that he'd be, he'd be safe with him. Like, yeah, again, it's high line vision. He puts a lot of pressure on, but you kind of you know you're going to weather the storm a little bit now. Unless he could change it to a high over guillotine, there's no way. Unless he could replace his guard back in oh, or use it look to at sweep that. like he's doing now. He's doing that from the side. Good balance shown by Kelderbekov. That could be, he could finish this from this position. I don't think so, to be honest, but I, uh, just, uh, he needs to get the amount. He's just contorting the neck quite a bit here. Oh, can he adjust? Wow, listen to the crowd as they get back to their feet. Yeah, how much that attempt? Did that take out their uh, the arms out of water? Oh, hey. But you got to ask in the eyes of the judges, was that the closest anyone came to uh, any significant chance of finishing the fight there? Indeed. You know, it all, also it depends on the level of awareness of the judges, if they know, you know, and how bad that was. But you saw, look at Kelly Beckham's face, it, it, was, it was in discomfort. But me, knowing that position quite well myself, knowing that he would survive that move, especially knowing Kelly <laughs> Beckham as well. So let's have a little look. This was the early on. A lot, lot different now. In the, in the corner, Kelderbekov getting a rub down on his legs where the, in, in, in the end of the first round, he was already up on his feet now. And here Choosing we have to take it the four minutes. This is that transi transitions here. That was the f first takedown attempt. No, that was the end of the round. Okay. That was just after the guillotine attempt from Walter Perea. Yeah, again, Brian, we've had a few tonight, very, very close fights. Coming into the third round, you think either fire could pull away with this? Without a doubt. I think it goes with the matchmaking here at ACA. Very, very evenly matched contest tonight. A touch gloves, third and final round here in this bantamweight contest. Kanak Keldebekov, red corner, Walter Perea in the blue. There could be one, one apiece here, Brad. Arguably one apiece. Each fighter is not going to know. They're going to have to come out here. I mean, if you're in the corner, you never say to someone, I think you won both those rounds. They were so close. Oh, there you go. That's a good left hook there. Wobbled him a little bit. What a chin, though. As I said, neither of these fighters have ever been knocked out. It made it, I think it made it look worse as well because he was throwing a kick at the same time, so he lost his balance. But now straight away, you, if I was if I was Walter, I got to think that looked good, so I need to get after something here. You know. Also, the, the crowd noise every time Kanak yeah. Keldebekov even taps him with anything. Oh! It's flight jump knee there. Dropped Is he going to survive this, Brian? Wow. He dropped in. It was close to finishing that. Now Walter Pereira on the back. Can he finish? Can that Keldebekov? That is under the chin, Brad. Look at the toughness by Keldebekov. Oh, no, he's, that's out now. He's in mount. Walter Perea. He is in complete survival mode, Brian. 
That jump knee was exquisite. Connected with the chin, dropped. Cannot kill the back of how he survived that. But now he's got to stave off the attacks from the back from Walter Pereira. Walter's really high. You see him falling off, but maybe he's transitioning, falling off, going into an armbar. But we said it, Brian. Sean needed to do something special, and that was beautifully timed jumping knee. Oh, but now listen to the crowd roar as Keldebeko shrugs off Walter Pereira and ends up on top. Yeah, but that's got to set him alight now. He's got to realise he needs to do something now. He can't just stay in the guard. He needs to do some damage. And equally, Walter Pereira can't just stay on his back. He needs to use that cage to get back to his feet. Indeed, Brian. But also, you've got to think, he dropped hard, Brian. He's maybe using this just to clear his head a little bit, compose himself. But I actually thought that was over, Brian, the way he oh. fell. Herb Dean was extremely close to stepping in there. Yeah, Herb Dean, one of the best refs in the game, you know. And rightly so. Kilda Beckham's on top now. <laughs> Shrugged off Pereira off his back. Survived the choke attempt. And now, can he do something with this position? Two minutes, five seconds to play with. There's a lot of pressure, but not any strikes yeah. really coming down from that top position. You've got to feel that like he's getting some top time, but there's some blood coming from somewhere as well. I would say, if I was to guess, it would be Kelda back off with that knee. That land is super hard. Just as we said, neither have been knocked out. Perea pulled out. Stunning jump knee. Somehow, Keldebekov still survived. Now he's on the back of Perea. Yeah, and he's now this way. He needs to do some damage as well. Heavy pressure on top. Yeah, Walter's looking over at his corner, trying to get some advice. My advice would be fight the grip. It's holding you. And just mind out again that, keeping your left elbow quite close, uh, close to you uh, so you're not going to give up a hook. Oh, it might shrug him nice. off here, but oh. Kanat drags him to the mat. What heart in this warrior, Kanat Keldebekov. Almost finished, almost knocked out for the first time in his career. This is the thing though, Brian, we have Keldebekov in, in the other rounds as well, We I believe has more top time, more cage control, but who's been closest to finish the fight Few submission attempts by Walter and also that beautiful flying knee in this round. Clock is ticking, 30 seconds now left. Oh, nice short elbow from inside the guard there from Kanat Keldebekov. Yeah, I mean, I'm super impressed though. He literally changed this round from survival mode. Now he's finishing on top, looking strong. Herb Dean calling for more action, but there's not much more time. Ten seconds. Oh, and Perea trying something else. Oh, that's oh. a big right hand there as well, Brian. That right hand, and that has lit this crowd up once again. Let's see another round. <laughs> there you go. What a battle between these two warriors. Brazil versus Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, again, Brian, uh, the judges here at ACA 105 are getting their money's worth. That third round in particular, how exciting. The jump knee from Perea. And also to go back to what we said before, at ACA we have five judges cage side and we cannot have a draw. Well, let's see, you talk us through some of this action, Brad. This is that, that beautiful jump he needs just to hit the bottom. And I was super impressed with the survivability of Keldebekov. Not only from that drop, the jumping knee, to survive that, he was in a deep, deep choke. And then from there on, he was like being a complete ragdoll, ragdoll in water. And at the end, he saw him a little bit. Landed some really good, successful ground and pound. And then time was against his side at the end of that round. But yeah, again. We've seen it many times tonight. Both fighters believe they've done enough. Crowd happy with that performance. 
The scorecards are being collected as we speak. Which way would this one go? Walter's still jogging around the cage, shadow boxing. He could have done with another round. What a battle that was. As we said, this will go to the judges. Herb Dean will yeah. bring these two athletes together and we will make it official. To do that, let's hand it to Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, after completing the schedule three rounds, our judges at cage side have declared your winner by split decision. Walter Junior Pranto Pereira. And what a return to victory for that man. Look at the emotions. Taking the fight on short notice as well. So excited to be here back Fighting in Russia against a top, top opponent in Kanat Keldebekov. Yeah, but big, arguably big that jump knee was the difference. Yeah, I mean, we said it going into the third round, someone had to do something, and that man did. He jumped forward with a beautiful jump in scissor knee uh, and, and dropped Keldebekov. And those will go back to the, the fight itself. Yes, Keldebekov had quite a lot of cage control and cage time, but it was this man here right now who's getting the applause from the crowd who was the closest man to finishing this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage from Brazil, Carlos Eduardo. And we move to the second of our light heavyweight contests.